This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in this tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can add drop shadows to objects using Adobe Photoshop. So I'll come over here and open up a new document. In order to do this, I'm going to need some kind of object to apply the drop shadow to. So I'm going to grab the text tool and I'm going to add some placeholder text on the canvas here. Now let me just move that to the center of the page here. So the way that this works in Photoshop is the way that you add a drop shadow to an object is you do it through the Layers menu. Now if you come over here to the bottom right, right corner of the screen, you'll see the Layers menu. You can see a dedicated layer for my text item right here. What I want to do is right click on that layer and click on Blending Options. And at the bottom of this menu over here, you should see an, uh, an option named Drop Shadow. I'm going to go ahead and tick that box right there. And then I'll go ahead and click on that so I get these options that I can choose from. Now if you notice here on, this, on the screen, it added a drop shadow to my object and now I can control the properties of that drop shadow over here. So first up here, over here we have the opacity. You can increase and decrease that if you'd like. We have the angle, which is where it's located. And then we have, let me just place that back over here. And then over here we have the distance. This is the distance away from the original object that the drop shadow goes to. We have over here the spread. This is how uh, sharp, how uh, blurry or refined the, uh, the edges are. And then over here we have the size, which is sort of like the blur, kind of like adding a, more of a Gaussian blur, making it, making it softer like that. And then, uh, let me just move that a little further away. And if you want to change the color of your drop shadow, you can do so up here. You can make that a different color if you'd like. I'm just going to leave that as black, as, uh, leave that as black for now. And, um, and over here you could add some noise if you want just to, uh, you know, add some artistic flair to it. I'm just going to leave it as it is right there. And once you're finished, you can go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, we've added a drop shadow here. Now, if you want to get rid of this drop shadow at any point, if you come back over here to your Layers menu, you can see a new Effects layer has been added. You can just click the eyeball next to where it says Drop Shadow, and it'll turn off the visibility of the drop shadow like that. And if you want to turn the visibility back on, you can just turn it on like that. That's a way to temporarily get rid of the drop shadow. If you'd like to delete it permanently, just right click your layer and go to blending options and then deselect the box that says drop shadow right there and then it'll be gone for good. So that is how you can go about adding drop shadows using Adobe Photoshop. If you have any questions, leave a comment below and as always, thanks for watching.